kissing the grave. Kissing the grave. I ain't gonna hesitate. I really want to see is responses to Hajj's uh, content. Because whatever one wants to say about his content and his style, one has to admit that he's done his research. You can see on screen, we got the book Hashiatul Khuluti Ala Muntaha Li Radat by Al Alama Muhammad bin Ahmed Al Bahuti. To add further evidence on top of this, okay, as you can see on screen, we've got the book. Sir Alamul Bala by Imam al Dahabi. Now listen to this and obviously pay attention to this yeah, Super Salafis. You can see on screen, we got the book Hashiatul Khuluti Ala Muntaha Li Radat by Al Alama Muhammad bin Ahmed al Bahuti. <laughs> So these people who say we are Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, sometimes they do not even pronounce Ahlul Sunnah correctly. They say Alu Sunnah. Yes? Al Bida Al Sunnah. You understand? It's not Al Bida Al Sunnah. Alu Sunnah. Al Sunnah. You understand? It's not Al Bida Al Sunnah. Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, who they try to claim. Ahmed bin Hanbal, Ahmed bin Hanbal, Ahmed bin Hanbal. By Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. To further substantiate his arrogance, his narcissism, this video will shock you to your very core. Does that make any sense? Let's read it again, okay, as you can see on screen. He knows Tawheed, he loves it, he follows it, so he follows it, and knows Shirk, and leaves it, and hates to enter into Tawheed, but loves to stay with Shirk. Meaning, sides with the people of Shirk. So, <laughs> I, you know, again, again, you see the, 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 the community tendencies I'm talking about. So a person could lo know Tawheed, love it, follow it, no shirk, hate it, but according to Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, he dislikes or hates to enter into Tawheed. That's a contradiction, he just said he followed it. But then now he's saying he's a, he hates to enter it. Look at the evidence. Ya Akhi Aziz, Wallah al I fear for you on the day that you have to stand before Allah Azza wa Jal with the amount of distortions that you've um, you know, presented to the to the to the Muslims around the world. Well, I fear for that day. So make Tawbah before it's too late. Oh, congratulations, mate! Well done, mate! Mate, dumbest statement of the century, honestly. Well done, well done. I mean, you see the pattern here. He can't transmit correctly, can he? He's, he's a distorter. He can't take what he says seriously. Now, the Imam Ahmed also seeks to borrow from other things as well, which the super Salafis would have would would, cause, would accuse the the doer of whatever I'm going to present now as a mushrik and a polytheist. Okay, what did Imam Ahmed also do as well? As you can see on screen, we've got the book Manhaj al-Salaf. That the manhaj of the Salaf, they keep saying manhaj of the Salaf, but the manhaj of the Salaf to them is basically the Najdi Dawah, which is which the manhaj of the Salaf is free from. And this is written by Sayyid Muhammad bin Alawi, Al Maliki, Al Makki, Al Hassani. Okay? And he is a Khadim al Ilm, a Sharif, bi Balad al Haram. And he's also an, a Sheikh from the Haram as well. He's a, he's a Maliki, and he's a Makki, and he's a Hassani from the Al Bayt. Okay? And he wrote this book. Now he mentions, as you can see on screen, he mentioned that Imam Ahmed. Okay, Imam Ahmed used to uh, do ghusl of the shirt, okay, of Imam Shafi'i, 
Rahmatullah alayhi. So he used to wash his shirt, his qamis. And he used to drink the water from the ghusl of Imam Shafi'i. Subhanallah al-Azim. Subhanallah. Okay. So a Sayyid, uh, well, I always forget his name because he's lengthy. A Sayyid Muhammad bin Alawi al-Maliki al-Makki al-Hassani. Rahmatullah alayhi. Okay. Basically compelled Imam Ahmed, okay, he used to, clean, to wash the, the, the shirt, the qamis of Imam Shafi'i, and the water that he used to drink from it, he used to drink it, okay? He used to drink it to seek tabarruq, okay? Tabarruk. Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal got nothing to do with the neo Salafi da'wah. Seriously, you see how the deceit and the deception, I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just, you know, showing you, uh, presenting to you that this man can't be trusted. How can this man get away with all of this deceit, deception, fraud? Because whatever one wants to say about his content or his style, one has to admit that he's done his research. 